Module 22, Keyword Code Part 2. Another free lesson to help you become a better coder. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Your continued support helps make these videos possible. And as always, I thank you all for watching this video. In this video, we are going to uh, we are going to stream QR code image from the uh, Google API um, and save the uh, image to local for use. This code is uh, very similar to uh, to the employee folder that we did in the last video, with the exception of uh, streaming the image file. So uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. Let's get back to our program. Let's go to our program. Uh, go to folder, access projects. Let's make a. Oh yeah. Let's go into there. Last time we did the employee photo. Um, today. We are going to uh, do the QR code part two. Like I said, we're gonna do QR code. Uh, so we gotta do what we said we were to do. Uh, 22 QR code uh, part two. Part two. All right. Um, let's open that up. Uh, <clears throat> before we jump into there. Um, matter of fact, before we do that, let's, let's open up what we did last time. Let's open up what we did last time. Got to kind of refresh a little bit here. Um, I'm going to go employee here and see this guy. So that's what we did last time. All right, and we end up trying to print this card. By the way, I did not look into this. I didn't think that was, you know, important. Uh, but we did the upload. We did not do the delete, all right? So I'm thinking about maybe putting a QR code right here below this code, all right? And that's what we wanna do. That's what we wanna do. Yep, so let's do that. Um, let's do that. Let's open up our employee form in a design mode. And um, I'm gonna select those and kind of push those guys down. Uh, also, what I want to do is yesterday I looked into the scanner that I bought. And um, let me show you what I found now. It's a netum.net. Um, so what I bought was this $34, $34 right here, $35. All right, that one does not do the QR code scan. This one does, which is about 94 bucks. I'm not gonna do that, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna buy that guy just to do some YouTube, alright, where my YouTube is only, yeah, I don't think it's a worth of money for me to invest. I already invested uh, 34, uh, 40, was it, how much of it? 30 something? Yeah, 30 something dollars on that. But look at this. Only uh, 48 people, 51 people, you know, watching this uh, project management uh, development, and um, I don't think it's worth it, worth it for me to, uh, yeah, 47, 30. Well, not that one. Oops. Oops. Um. It's less than a hundred, it's half of a hundred, like we got 49, 57. So I don't think this is, uh, yeah, this, 
I'm, I don't think I'm gonna invest in buying something now. If I had like two, three hundred people are following, you know, I might be, I might just invest doing that. Okay, so I'm not gonna invest in buying that just because I don't have anybody basically watching, except a few good people like you, you. Okay, except a few good people like you. All right. So, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not worth it for me to uh, invest buying something that nobody's, you know, that only a few watching. All right. So, but <clears throat> I will do. <clears throat> excuse me. But I will do what I said I was to do is to implement the e QR code for you. All right. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this guy. This guy's got image. Uh, control right here. I'm going to copy that. Copy, paste. Yeah. I got to do what I said I was to do. So I'm going to move that right there. That looks like a good place for it to go. And I'm going to copy and change this name too. This should be a login code. And I'm going to copy that label. Move that guy down. And then change this guy. Um, I'm going to name this guy QR login code. All right. Obviously, just so that you know, QR uh, code. All right. They're mainly used for um, intercepting a web application. Um, for example, if you buy a product, a TV, for example, and they, they say, hey, you need to use your cell phone to scan this QR code. If that link is sent to the QR code, it registers the TV, all right, or any item, okay? But you use your cell phone to do that, and cell phone has a capability of jumping to places. Okay, uh, just like when I tested with my, with the website jackpanyakon.com, using my cell phone, I can scan it, and it pulls up my website. All right, so, but I have not done much of, you know, looking into the, you know, other usage. Okay, but anyways, um. Let's do this. I'm gonna take this uh, purple out. You need that. Yep. And I'm gonna. Oops. I'm gonna delete purple out. Purple, you shouldn't be there. there. Uh, miss. There. Anyways, but we're gonna implement this. Uh, let's make this guy the same height. Uh. Uh. Yeah. The width and the height the same. So I'm gonna make sure they're square. All right, it doesn't look square here, but it uh, it is square here. Okay, so that's what we want. And I'm gonna move this guy up just a tad, right there. Uh, copy that, paste, another paste, and um, and I'm gonna select both of them and move this guy right there. Um. Uh, let's see. Think if I, oops. Think if I stretch this guy out right there, and then come on now, and then um, rename this guy to CMD get QR code, and then say get QR code. All right. And this one is going to be delete QR code. Command delete QR code. Like that. Um, yep, so that's good. That's good. How about this name? Yeah, we got to change this name to IMG. QR um, code image. Alright. Alright. 
So let's uh, let's turn let's turn this control to visible and invisible. All right. So let's go to code behind. Oops, we don't have code behind here. Oh yeah, right here. Gotta make sure that guy's open first. So right here, what we want to do is see how we make this guy invisible. So we we'll do the same thing here. Keyword code visible false, and then command uh, get visible false. Uh, command delete keyword code visible false. Yeah. So that would be the preset and the set. And here we want to say, oh, we're missing something here. Let's go back. We need to add. We need to add this guy. All right, so I'm gonna copy that, copy, paste, and then we're gonna call this guy. This is a variable that you need to work with. Txt uh, keyword code uh, image path image path. I think it should be similar to this guy. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's go back. Now we're gonna say me txt keyword code path log true and uh, this is pretty straightforward all right uh hopefully this one doesn't take too long since we've got the since we got the uh, photo done already the image uh the employee photo so it's basically the same thing in the with addition of the streaming the uh, file all right, with ex with ex uh, yeah, with exception. Um, so let's do that white and keep going up. Do -do 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 -do. Right here on save. Oh, employee keyword code path and Z. Pretty straightforward, like I said. You know, once you learn. How to do this? Um, you basically can do anything. All right. So here we're gonna say image. You are visible. False. And then command. Uh, now here, um, we want to get keyword code to be visible. True. All right. And then the delete. To be false. All right. Until I'm gonna grab this guy. Until we say if keyword code is nothing, then we're gonna change this guy to m keyword code image. And here we're gonna change this guy to keyword code path. Um, the QR code image is true and the delete is also true delete QR code and yeah we, we don't we're not interested in that um, and um, oh yeah oh yeah and then the command get is false now you don't want to yeah you don't want to keep going and updating the QR code just because just because that code is not going to change <laughs> so if it's there it's there it's not going to change okay all right uh, that's that that that's basically it all right that's basically it so now let's uh, Let's implement the click button. So I'm gonna copy this name right here, the control name, get copy. And go way up here and type my type it in like so. Click. I also want to do the delete. As a matter of fact, I wanna go ahead and do the delete on this one and the delete on this guy as well but let's do this one first private sub delete click and then lastly let's grab this guy's name 
you know why I grab this and call it my own click it all right instead of going to instead of going to here because if I do go to here it's going just it's going to uh, put me somewhere that I don't even know where it's going to put me all right but here I you know I tell it you know where I want all right now control s safe so that's why I want all right uh, so now to get that QR code we did this one right here task win if you remember two videos back let's copy that comment it out lines and put it there you see that and now I'm just gonna comment this out so that's how that's gonna work all right now because we gotta save everything in here so I'll go ahead and put this guy right underneath there that looks good right there that looks good right there okay uh, let's see let's uh, let's think about it here just a tad let's think about here just a tad um, let's take a look at this safe stream image here there is obviously a problem here all right we did not see the problem earlier okay um, I think because I think because the object or the image is already on the screen all right so but here we gotta you're gonna see errors here okay uh, what I want to do here, I want to go ahead and combine this guy. That way I don't have to do do it twice. Okay. So I want to combine these two guys together. Let's call full file name. And then get rid of this PNG. Alright, you want to streamline or make it nice and simple. Then you don't have to do a whole lot of typing in the future. All right. So this function, there is a problem with this function, which I will show you the error before I fix it. All right. Yeah. Yesterday I looked at the scanner and I also did some more testing on this uh, function, and there were there was an error. There was an error. So this guy right here, it calls for, it calls for. Let me show you. It calls for comma oops go there comma you see that full file name that's what it calls for so we can do this uh, <clears throat> file name is going to be employee number all right and and um, png that's a file name And this uh, web image here, that's a control when we tried, when we tested it, all right? But now we're gonna use the URL. I'm gonna put an S in there, just so it, yeah. If I, if I try to be consistent, you know, it's gonna be less headache, all right? So that's how that's gonna work, except right here, you see here, equals, Alright, I'm gonna take that out right up to there. See that? Alright, now I'm gonna add two double quotes. And in here I wanna say me txt employee. That would be the number. Just like that. Alright? So that will be all uh, QR code. Alright, now, now we want to do uh, me txt qr code image path equals equals backslash uh, the file function or file folder dot QR code image just like that 
zero over here. And and this guy copy. Oops, gotta put an N there, otherwise it's gonna say what's going on. Just like that. So that path is say hey, this is the path. Alright, that's the path. We're gonna save that in a in the database, but we're gonna save this image in our folder. Alright? So that's how that works. That's how that works. Alright? I, th I think that looks good. That looks good. Um, also, I noticed when we did this, alright, when we did that uh, on display right here, you see how we set true, false, true, false on these uh, commands, on these command buttons. Alright. Um, well, obviously, if it's if it's uh, if it's true, you cannot say it false. If if that control has uh, has focus, all right. If a control has a focus, you cannot say it false. So what we really want to do here, we want to set add new set uh, set the uh, set focus to some other control. So the surface is to save it is to set the add new set focus all right and i'm going to do the same thing here all right just prevent errors just prevent errors okay um and i'm going i'm going to go ahead and do that with this guy as well because i know once we done this all right once we done that we want to call and save. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to take that out. We'll do. We'll we'll tackle that when we get there. But let's go find out what's going on with this file, right? All right. We're gonna we're gonna find out about this file. Okay. Let's run it, and we're gonna test it. All right. Like I said, we, you're gonna see error. I don't want to fix error because without you knowing. All right. And that's the thing about me is that I'm gonna show you exactly how this thing is happening you know the process you know the logic how I go through why I do things the way I do that most people will tell will show you all the working you know everything works easy and that and that and without errors but what they don't tell you is that they do get errors <laughs> but don't tell they don't tell you the errors okay um, so what you get when you copy somebody's code to to do things for you, you get a working copy, but you don't get the knowledge of why things happen the way it happens. But here I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the error, and then I'm going to implement it, why I implement it, to fix it. Alright, alright, let's go. Let's, uh, let's see the error. Um, let's log in. Let's log in. Oops. Uh, good, nothing showed up. That's good. So far, so good. Good. All right, let's do this. Now remember, oh, you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Just before I get there, uh, our function. What I want to do here, I want to, uh, I'm going to grab this air handler in here. All right. Copy. And then put an air right here underneath. And then make that a sub. Copy that. Put it in here. Obviously, you want to uh, include all the error handle on all the uh, function and subroutines. On error, go to handle error. 
All right, so yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, get ah, yeah. that one didn't. That one didn't intercept error, which is good. Which is good. Which is good. Now, did it save in the database? That one didn't intercept error. But I'm gonna I'm gonna implement it anyways, all right? Because you will yeah you will get error, all right? Now we, we didn't get error when we tested it with the test screen, but I'm you will you will eventually you will, cause I did. Oh good, it saved. Oh yeah, it saved all that exactly the way we wanted to do. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm gonna keep that there. Um, let's, so that's good. That's good, all right. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, re redo this guy, this function, because there is a there is a not a big glitch, a slight glitch. Okay, a slight glitch. Obviously, we don't. Yeah, this one somehow works, but it shouldn't work. Okay. Also, here is an old one. Okay, that's an old one. Because what I learned there is a new one called new uh, XML. You see that this guy right here? That's a new version. All right. So eventually you're gonna get error from from this guy. What we really want is to get the latest one. Here. All right. That's the latest one. Okay. Also here instead of doing an as object, we want to do as new a. ADO but we don't have ADO here all right so let me uh, yeah there's no ADO there but let me show you we go to reference and let's go find Microsoft ActiveX remember I mentioned this in the last video um, yeah we want an ActiveX data object all right so this see this uh, 6.1 that's the latest one all right so we're gonna select that and and so there was a problem sometime intermittently not all the time not all the time intermittently but this is how we want to do it like I said when I do things I try to really look into it all right otherwise you're gonna get Oh man, it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, so this will ensure that it works all the time. So now instead of creating a set right here, that set is the same as new, alright? Anytime you say set, it's the same as a new, okay? So so now I'm just going to get rid of that guy. Also, you notice I didn't even empty my garbage, alright? I need to empty my garbage. So take that out, take that out. And I want to empty my garbage. So now I can say set all stream uh, equals nothing. You should always empty your garbage, okay? We call this garbage. Uh, when HTTP request equals empty. Alright? Otherwise, it's just going to build up in your RAM memory, okay? But small application, it's not going to matter much. Okay. What will matter is that your computer is outdated. <laughs> that should be just fine right there. All right, now we are good now. So to test that out, let's delete this guy. Uh, it should work the same way. Okay. What I did, uh, it happened to me a couple of times, and that's when I got to look into it. All right. So, so I'm going to jump away, uh, see how I jump away, that thing should be gone. I don't want that, I don't want that to be visible. So, so what is, that should be, oh this is, let's go to the employee form, that should be in the display. I thought we done that already, right? Oh, oh the. I type in the wrong name, you see there? That should have been 
uh, QR code. Duh. So let's do it again. That's better. That's better. All right. And you know what? It removed my image. What happened to my what? What happened to my uh, my cat? What happened to my cat? All right. So let's get this guy first, and then we'll look at the cat. Uh. Her. Oh, the. You know what? We forgot to type in stream. Yep. Okay. Good. Look. Nice. That's what we want. All right. So, uh, that's a new way of. Yeah, that's the latest one. Oops. What I want? I didn't want that. I want. Uh, yeah there you go so good it's saved right there and now let's go to what's going on with this guy let's get my let's get let's get purple purple bag that wasn't a cat jack that was cat that was that was a dog purple purple she, she's old she's 11 years old now no she's 12 she's 12 she's 12 Purple's 12 she's like a She's a foot and a half long. <laughs> She's real tiny. She's real tiny. Her eye is starting to get bad. Yeah, when I get close to her, she barks. And then when she got the smell, she stops barking. Yep. So, but anyways, that's how you do it. That's basically how you do it. Now you can, let's go to, uh, let's get this guy. Look at that. But, but, you see this image? That's not right there, mister. So, something's not right there. You notice that? It grabs that image. So, here's what we want. Uh, oh, the, let's go to our employee. There's a problem in here. We want to empty everything out here. See, we need to empty this guy. You know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's take a look at this. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we cannot call this guy because that guy is there. We also need to check this guy out. QR code, you see it no? I thought we did this already. Um what happened? Yeah. We wanna call this guy, we wanna clear this guy. Alright. Just like we did here, clear text box. But that's gonna clear the employee ID. Right there. Alright. Uh, we want to clear everything when we display employee. So let's, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to do this. Call, accept. Here yeah, I'm just going to uh, remember um, temp employee ID as string. And then I'm just going to say. You know why there, right? Because that clear is going to clear everything. So now I just want to say, hey, remember this guy before you clear everything. And now I can just use this guy to in here. And now I can clear. You see there? Uh, all here. Same way. There. So now I can clear and then I can set him back. You see it right there? So that's gonna work. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. We're gonna flip to somebody else. See there? Doesn't happen. Good. Now, now, I noticed when we did 
to Christy when we did that, it saves this guy. Now we're gonna do we're gonna do on this guy. See if it saves that image there. Nope. That's how we want. Perfect. That's exactly how we want. So we want to clear that in the back. Good. Good. That's 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 how you do it, Mister. That's how you do it. Let's get that guy. We should have one, two, three, four. Yep. Ooh, employee. Oh yeah, this one was the scanner that we use. Okay, that's right. That's right. So that's how you do it. That is just how you do it. All right. Now we need to implement the delete. All right. We need to implement the delete. Okay. So let's look at this guy. All right. Now the delete is not that big a deal. It's it's pretty uh, straightforward. So let's go to our file function. Let's call, you know what, see this public, you can just take that out and it's understood to be public. So now we're going to say delete image. And um, what we want is, we want to send in a full path, full name right here. So I'm just going to copy this guy, save my fingers from typing, although it's not that big a deal full file path instead of file name we call file path all right also also um yeah let me copy that what we want here we want to make sure that we know there is something in there before we uh before we uh delete all right then kill just like that all right now if you don't specify the the directory what you want to do is defaulted to normal all right it defaulted to if you say a directory then it's going to direct it's going to return the directory not the file name all right so so that's how that works and you can set whatever you want here okay but normally we just use normal and directory you just want to find out if there is a file or if there's a directory or folder all right but right now we just want to see the file if the file exists so if that file exists in here in this full path then kill it all right that's how that's how that works nice and simple it's one liner then you don't have to keep typing if 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 when you want to delete 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 all right now let's go up to here so to delete I'll go ahead and copy this guy down there because we want to remove all this stuff that's in there again I'm gonna do the um, set focus here and then I want to say me txt qr code image path equals no yeah and then we can say call file function delete image now this one right here is a full file path, all right? Full file path means application, oops, uh, current project path plus me QR path. Just like that. Okay, and then once it deletes, it's going to come out here and we'll set this guy this path to none to nothing and then we'll save that's how that works mister that is how that works all right now we do the same thing with this guy copy just like that except we're going to change this guy to employee image file path image path employee image path so that's nice and simple that's what three minutes typing uh yeah now let's let's test it out make sure we uh yeah make sure we uh now when we delete all right when we delete we 
Yeah, that's fine. We save. Good. Perfect. Just like that. Alright. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm going to minimize this. But you know what? I cannot mi minimize. What happened to my minimize? I can do this. Yeah. See this? I understand why my minimize is not working. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's working. It's right here. Let's try that again. There you go. It jumps down. Okay, good. All right. So what we want is we when we delete, we want to see this guy's gone, and the image, and the image. This guy and oops, oops, and that guy. Oh, look at that. Oh, one is JPEG. One is JPG. Okay, that's why. All right. Anyways. Um, anyways, let's do that. Let's delete the QR. Delete. Okay, time is match. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, the I did not ask what's why what's going on. So my bad. So if uh, if the file name is not empty, BB no string or empty. Then kill, save, save first, and then continue. Good. And if we go back to QR code, we should have three now. Uh, did it not? Did it not? Oh, it, it got rid of it. Maybe we had five. Let's take a look at this guy. We're gonna delete this guy. What do we have? We have four. Let's take a look. And you delete this guy. Oh, I don't understand that. That, yeah. Her. It didn't look like you deleted it. It did not look like it deleted it. It deleted was in the. Yeah, it did not delete the file. Uh. Why is that? Let's take a look. Why is that? We know there's something in there. All right, so F5, F8. Yeah. It didn't kill. It did not kill. It did not kill, it didn't go in there. We can do this. You know what, I wanna see if it really comes in here. I like the uh, one liner, but sometimes you don't know if it goes in there or not. So I'm going to stop right inside there. Delete. It didn't go in there, okay. Um, yeah, what's going on? That should just work. I don't stand there. So let's, uh, let's debug this guy and see what's going on here. What I want to do here, I want to see what is going on. What is going on? Uh, yeah. So if I did that, it should give me the file, file name. Give me the file name, all right? That's what I want. I want to see if there's a file name in there, all right? So let's let's try that. I'm gonna select somebody else. Nobody, nobody. Oh, uh, okay. Let's add it. Let's add. Let's add the QR code here. Good. Now let's watch. It's nothing. Uh, what the heck? That's the reason why. Okay. All right, so now, um, what if we put a VB normal in there? That's weird. We we pass in something. Uh, so what else we want to do? We want to look at this guy. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this is weird. File name. So this is what you would do when you trying to uh, trying to uh, debug. You want to make sure that you see everything the way you want to see. All right. And uh, if you don't see the stuff that you want to see, then actually we're gonna go ahead and use something here. Uh, file name and then sent in. Yeah, sent in. Something like that. You want to see everything that you want to see. All right. If you don't see what you want to see, then then there's going to be a problem. All right. So I'm going to put a message box in there and take a look. Try it again. Let's uh, yeah. Let's add. Let's let's get a code. Let's do this. So there's no file name, but we can. Oh, see that. That's the reason why we don't get anything in there. You see that? See the back here? That's why there's no file name. Ah, so we mix code. Yeah, cause I I know this guy works. All right, let's go back. We're we're gonna get yeah. Cause that's how you that's how you delete. All right, so that's good. All what we did here is good, except what we sent in was not good. So I'm gonna delete that. I mean save that. See this what whatever we did earlier was good. So, but what was not good is here. So why is it not good? Ah, ah ha ha. Um, uh, hold on here. Hold your horses. So when we when we get code, we got this guy. Which is the same as this guy. That should be the same, you see. That should be the same. So before I go in there, uh, I'm going to stop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna comment that out for now, and. And I want to see this. And I want to see that message box, just like that. All right. So that's what we want to do. We want to see what's going on there. Uh, obviously, what we see here, it should, it should, this guy should be like that. This guy should be this guy. And we don't see the end here, the back. So let's let's do that. Let's go find out why. Get delete. See there? There's something's not right in there. So that tells me when we display this guy. Uh, this is display. Display. Oh, you see that? That's why. That's the problem right here. So what we want here. So these are the things that you want to do. I mean, yeah. Uh, employee path. We don't get this guy. We gotta have this guy. Otherwise, we're gonna be in deep doodle. Deep doodle. You see that? Keyword code path. O M E R. A QR. That's why that that guy is not there. So that's what you want to do when you when you uh, when you code. You want to make sure you see exactly what you want the program to do. If you don't see what you, what the program uh, you see, if you don't see what you want to see, the program is not gonna do it for you. All right, let's try that again. Thing. Thing. All right, delete. That's better. That's better. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's uncomment that out. I bet you it's gonna work now. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I will show you exactly how I debug, what I'm looking for, 
and how to get it going. All right, so let's do that. Now watch, one gone. You see there? All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna create we're gonna create this guy. All right. We're gonna create this guy. All right. We should have yeah. Now let's delete this guy. And we should have two left. Let's delete this guy. We should have one left. Perfect. And then the other one was way somewhere. All right. Way somewhere in here. When this guy. Oh, there he is. Yeah. That should. We shouldn't have anybody now. That's how that works. All right. And if we minimize this guy, see that? That's gone. Perfect. 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 So now. Let's get back to uh, this handsome man. Now we want to do this same way here. All right, so let's get let's get purple in here. Hey, purple, come back. All right, let's see if we can delete purple. Let's go take a look at purple. Purple, are you there? Ooh. Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, something fun funky there. But we did get this one from somebody else all right uh, from the uh, from a notebook so let's delete purple purple's gone all right good let's uh let's upload that should be employee number i thought we update this guy to this guy huh Anyways, anyways, they don't matter because uh, yeah, let's get that. That's how you do it, mister. And that's basically how you uh, save your QR code, all right? So see how I did that one? I can delete and keep getting a new one, which is the same one, all right? All right, this guy and that guy is the same one, okay? Um, so, oh, what happened here? They are not safe. Something's not right. When I delete one, the other one deleted. Her. Her. Hold on. Hold your horses. That guy's there. But. But. But that guy's gone. So we delete one, we delete the other. Let's take a look. Let's what's going on here. We delete this guy. That guy's gone. Uh, I'm curious now. You see there? Uh, not sure why. Let's uh, let's take a look at it again. Let's take a look at it again. We know we didn't delete purple. Purple's always there. All right. Let's take a look. Yep, we got that. That's good. And if we delete this guy, purple's gone. Good. And then, um, oops. Purple's gone there. And, uh, and my code is also gone. One updates the other. Huh. My code is also gone. Let's take a look at. We clear, we did something clear here. Clear here. Alright. Now, we say clear. Okay, so what we want here, 
I'm gonna copy that, take get rid of that, and I'm gonna be right in here. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing in there. If we see something, we wanna put something in there. Oops, there. That's a key wall code, that's a key wall code. Um, yeah, this is weird. I can't find it. Let's try that again. That's good. That's good. 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 So far so good. Try again. Good. 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 That's better. Whew, I have no idea. So what you see what I did there? See with when we clear this guy, when we clear this guy right here. Back here somewhere. Back here. Clear. Alright. We gotta we gotta get them back, you see. Right here. We gotta get them back somewhere here. You see that? That's where we want it to be. Okay? That's where we want it to be. Alright? And also, yeah, we never we, we never grab the other one. We deleted them, we removed them. Uh here, you see. But we never grab them back. So that's the problem. Alright, I think we got it. We got it we got it solved. That's how that worked, mister. And that's all I wanted to do. I want to show you that you can stream this uh, QR code and save it to the folder. Alright, and save it to the folder. Just like that. Alright. And um, and I show you a couple things in there. So but that's all I wanted to show you. Happy programming. People. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.